After 13 years of being a 3D artist and using Blender, here's what I've learned. This video is brought to you by NVIDIA Studio. We've partnered over the holiday season and we're doing some exciting things to share some of the joy and love of the holidays with you guys. Which, actually, hold on a sec. Oh, there you go. Oh, and also... One sec. And also... Okay, yeah. Now, we're ready. Because it's that time of year, NVIDIA Studio, along with myself, is hosting a giveaway to all of our followers. You have a chance to win this ASUS ProArt laptop that features the AMD 8-Core 16 thread 5900 CPU, and that's paired with NVIDIA's RTX 3070 mobile GPU. And if you don't already know, with Cycles X and Blender 3.0, this GPU is crazy fast, being a ray traced, accelerated, and cycles, allowing you to have real-time performance inside of your viewport. I think this laptop is the perfect combination of power, size, and port portability. So along with this, I'm also throwing in the perks for the highest level Patreon member, which is all the downloads on my channel, including my digital asset downloads. Plus, I'll be offering some one-on-one -on -one help and advice to one of my lucky followers if you happen to be the winner. So follow the link in the description to NVIDIA's social page where you have a chance to win this incredible laptop, along with the perks I just mentioned. And I'm here hoping that you're the lucky winner. So in this video, I'm going over the past 13 years of my experience using Blender. And hopefully after this video, you guys will be able to avoid some of the pitfalls I fell into, as well as accelerate your 3D journey with some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So a few of the reasons why I finally bit the bullet and started to learn Blender 13 years ago is one, I was interested in Lego animations. As a kid, I always enjoyed doing stop motion animation, mostly using Legos and had a ton of fun with it, but wanted to take it to the next level and doing it with 3D and Blender seemed like the best option at the time. What really got me excited though is when Blender added its visual effects tools almost 10 years ago now. Because I always enjoyed creating short films in my youth, doing it all inside of Blender suddenly became much more exciting and incorporating 3D became much easier. So back in 2012, that's something that I was really using Blender a lot for at the time. So early on, I started with tutorials like a lot of you guys did and learning Blender, but what really pushed my skills to the next level is actually entering contests. Before entering contests, they typically only spend a few days to a week on a project and then move on to something else that interests me. But once you're creating art for a contest, you're doing all you can to continue to make that art as good as possible until you reach that deadline. I think that just really helped push me to the next level, doing things in Blender that I wouldn't typically do to add that little bit of extra detail and try to make it something more special. I think contests just really help you to stay focused and produce some of your best art. So actually, if you're interested in entering some contests, we're always hosting contests over on my CG Geek Discord page. There'll be a link in the description. If you guys want to go over there and join some of our community contests. One of the pitfalls I found myself constantly making inside of Blender was pouring way too much detail into a scene that just, if you would step back and look at, didn't really look that great in the first place. For example, this scene that I spent so much time on creating for the Blender Guru contest like 10 years ago now, I got way carried away with pouring detail into the scene when it was really just lacking in the composition and focus, as well as in the lighting department. But in hindsight, doing something like maybe some car headlights behind the two characters would have really drawn a lot of focus into the the scene and made it look a lot more artistic. But once I committed to adding all kinds of details to the scene, little things like the icicles hanging down from the lampposts, I really didn't want to go back and make any major changes to the scene because I was actually creating this all on an old MacBook from 2007 and Blender was already moving slow at this point with all of the details I poured into it. So making any major changes like rearranging the composition was just way too scary at the point and I was already committed to it. And this was kind of a common mistake that I'd make way too often, jumping ahead of myself, getting into details and everything before just the basic layout of my scene and lighting and composition was looking good. So I ended up finishing the art and it would be pretty mediocre and just blend in with a lot of other art and nothing about it would really stand out. Then back in 2013 is when I actually bought my first NVIDIA GPU. I think it was the GTX 570 at the time. And as you can imagine, I was completely thrilled because I was finally able to start rendering some animations. This was actually when I won my first contest ever with my sci-fi animation here. And it's just crazy because at the time I thought that was super fast, but fast forward almost 10 years till today, and we have hardware like the RTX 3070 in this laptop here 
that can render things that was taking hours before in real time today. And that just shows how far hardware has come with Nvidia's GPUs, all the way up to the ray traced RTX 3070 line of GPUs we have today. And also how much software has improved with Blender and with Cycles X and Blender 3.0 today, giving us some of this real time performance. And for me, a big thing that started pushing me as a 3D artist to take things to the next level was actually you guys. and the awesome Blender community, you were always giving great constructive criticism and also encouraging me to make tutorials for the projects that I'd produce. And little did I know at the time, but this would actually help me progress and learn as a 3D artist even faster. Because what's really interesting is when you're learning something new yourself with the purpose in the back of your mind to share that later on as a educational tutorial, you happen to file away every single thing that you learn. Maybe it's a key combination or a little trick to achieve a certain results and then remembering all those tips and tricks or key combinations in the future helps improve your workflow. So I also encourage you just like myself to maybe release some tutorials if you've created something cool in Blender and think that the community could benefit from it. Fast forward to the last few years, and that's where I am today. I'm able to produce content quite a bit faster. And it's a combination of growing and learning over the years, as well as the hardware that we're using growing and getting faster with Blender getting faster, computers getting faster, Nvidia GPUs now being ray traced, accelerated, rendering our scenes faster. So I'm gonna say there's never a better time than 2022 to start learning 3D. There's so much free content out there. There's a great community that's willing to help you and answer your questions. And so there's my progression in Blender and a few of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. I hope you guys might've taken something away from it. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you wanna win this incredible laptop, the ASUS ProArt Studio Book I have here, follow the link in the description to enter the NVIDIA Studio giveaway. To win this, as well as some one-on-one -on -one support with myself and all of the digital assets and downloads that I've created over the years, as a free gift to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look back at the past 13 years and where I've come in Blender in my 3D journey. Hopefully you've learned some tips and tricks and from some of the mistakes that I made over the years to improve and progress faster as a 3D artist. But that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season. Be kind to one another and I'll see you all in 2022. Bye-bye.